Hello, this is Jeff Volker with In-Depth Studies. Today we're looking at Romans chapter 9, verse 19. And the Apostle Paul says, one of, you, one of you will say to me, Then why does God still blame us? For who is able to resist his will? And of course, this, section, this verse comes in a context of God choosing in Romans 9 those who are going to believe. And so that naturally raises the question, if God ha you know, has to determine who's going to believe, and if he doesn't determine you will not believe, then how can he blame us for unbelief? How can he send us to hell for not believing when the only way we can believe is if he chooses us? Ah, there is the dilemma. And of course, the biblical answer is that we are always, always, always responsible for our choices. And yet in a way that we don't fully understand, God has determined all things from eternity past. Before, you know, so he has determined all things. Yet, in a way that we don't understand fully, we are still responsible for our choices. So, if you are not a believer, and you die and you stand before the Lord, the argument that you would probably put forth is that Granted, I'm not a believer, but uh, the only way I could become a believer is if you would choose me. You did not choose me. Therefore, my unbelief is not my fault, but your fault. That argument is not valid before the court of heaven because we are all responsible for our choices. And, and the fact that God can, deter, can hold people accountable for their choices and yet still determine everything before the fact, that's because he is different from us in his being. It's an ontological problem. God is, it's a problem of being. God is just different from us. We are, o we are only in some limited ways made like him. So if you would like to find out more about Jeff's thoughts, you can go to youtube.com, look under Jeff's thoughts, and they're all listed there. And you can subscribe to them. So thank you very much for today. Goodbye.